Tenus, tenus, son. Tenus, 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 son. Ah, uh, friends, good morning to you. You've seen the truck partially loaded already and a couple of photos of it fully loaded, but there's a lot that went on in the bush. Be a great time to hit that thumbs up if you've uh, been out in the bush getting firewood with your uncle or your grandpa, or if you just enjoy this type of work and stuff like this going on. So, friends, I've loaded the truck and been in and out of there once. We're going to go in again, but I just want to show how I showed up before we get into this video. You've seen some of this. So just, I want to show a little bit of the loading coming up with the wood hook there in a minute, and uh, we'll jump right into the stuff you haven't seen. And here we go. Um, the ax that started my whole excitedness about the wood bullet was, this was one of them. Okay, I've, I've since changed the profile because, well, just because. So here, here's the ax that got me excited. It's this one. Okay, see it? How much simpler can you get? Look at the shape of it. Look at the shape of this. Does that remind you of anything? Well, to me it does. It looks like a bullet. Look at the freaking profile on that. Okay? So this is the one that got me going. We're gonna go right through that knot. Yes, indeed we are actually. And I'm gonna show you something. Friends, that was a large knot. Okay? <laughs> now you guys know that i carry wood hooks with me this is another way this is just firewood is firewood it's a manual job okay so here's another way i do it okay and i love it this is one of my favorites is this one And the reason being, is you can't, you can't throw a, a, a piece of wood with a, with a, uh, what's that other long one called? What's, what's the other one called? The ones, you know what I'm talking about. Friends, what's the, what's the long one? You know the one I'm talking about. It's long. And you get to, uh, what's it called for crying out loud? I can't believe it. Look at that knot. Wow. That is a big knot right there. Friends, I can't believe I don't know what I'm talking about here, that, uh, the long one. Not a PV, not a PV. So, <laughs> as you notice me working here, friends, you, you see what I'm doing, right? I'm leaning on the axe like a cane. 
it helps so much that teeny little bit of pressure because this is a manual job it's a manual manual What's job no matter how you look at it i use that axe as a cane So friends, once again, this is the unit that, uh, look at it, somebody sent it to me and it just, you know, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I used it, I, it was, it was for the metal bin, right? And, uh, yeah, no, it, it's, uh. It's quite an axe. There is some, some naughty stuff here. I got... I don't know what I got, actually. This... This is the one that started it, friends. This is the axe that started it for me. Friends, we got a majority of people uh, on the channel that will say, fucking, I just love your splitting videos. It's just me splitting wood. So I like to throw that content in sometimes. But here, this is for those folks. Uh, it's just me out in the bush with an axe, just loading up the truck. But what's important is, is I do share my thinking behind some of this stuff and when you're splitting wood is when you can speak you're not speaking over top of the power saw so you know if some of this can help you i do use a chopping block now and again here but this is when you got a whole pile of wood out in front of you i just mosey through this i'm not going to fast forward i'm just going to mosey through and split wood it's a beautiful freaking day so so this is just that style of video here i do run a bit of saw but it's mainly a splitting video here and uh because i i got a bunch of this footage Back to her. See that? Look at this, friends. Here's a little piece of wood. Not this one. Here. Not this guy. I'm talking about this guy with that knot right there. It's just a sliver of wood. Right? See it? It's just a sliver. I like to split with my knots going down. I filed this, I sharpened this ax to do the things I need it to do, like that. There's a huge knot right there, friends, see that? Will be interesting again another huge knot going right down i'm going to take it right there try it again see that sucker that's a, that's a freaking knot right there boy Wow. See if I can give it a side, bust it apart. No, it's not happening. Big knots. Maybe, maybe I'll try something. Maybe I'll try this, up high. Yeah, that's better. If you try up high sometimes, friend, closer, it goes against your mind. You go against the big part of the knot, it's higher up, it's closer. Just take it, we got it. We got her. It just needed this a little small, look at that. It's huge. So sometimes I see if I can skank off the, uh, the bottom part of the knot, but if it doesn't work, I, I go up.
Here's another big knot. I might do the same. These seem to be breaking up higher, better. Yes, they do. That's good. Don't get stuck in your ways, friends. Try different things. Our wood stove is small. It's like, I mean, you could fit a 16 inch piece in wall to wall, but You can't you can't you can't make a nighttime burner out of it so I, I do them smaller This one's ugly. I might chip it. Maybe I won't. This thing's got big knots in it, friends. Interesting. There we go. This one's naughty. try something different here my HB I mean my double bit is crazy on this stuff like this is my this is my beautiful lightweight well it's actually a four pound HB on a whippy little handle killing your handle but it's it is a lovely splitting axe yeah see you can just you can hear it Beautiful. Let's get some of this out of the way. Look at that. Look at this. See, you think that that little teeny skinny little piece of wood would come off there? No. Not these big fur knots. Oh, there's what I wanted right there. 
Yeah. Because I don't think I'm getting this. That is a massive knot. Look it. I'm going to try my old up high shot. Up, up there. It is going to work. But I think this is the wrong handle for this one. Let's, uh, let's get this with something else. I don't want to break that handle. Let's go back to our, uh, this guy. Mind you, a big old double bit too. Friends, these are little things I hope you pick up. Like you, you bring a few different axes with you when you're heading out. I mean, look at this thing and, and don't give these naughty things the benefit of the doubt. Done. Like, just don't give them the benefit of the doubt. There's an old saying, and it's pull hard once, you know. Uh, these fur knots are intense. This axe, friends? <laughs> Look at it. It's just woof. Woof. Look at this thing. It is, this thing's ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna shut you off and load some of this. Oh. What a sweetheart. Do you see how she just she knows when she knows when I'm putting my boots on, I'll tell you that. She 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 gets she's getting better. She doesn't bark as as bad. She'll be in the corner. I'll go down there. I'll be putting my boots on. And she'll bark. It's funny. Anyway, friends, there's... Oh, that was such a beautiful day. It got wet. It got wet about halfway through, halfway through the, the truck, through, through the load. Right about now is when it started to rain. So, anyway, um, I just want to stop it there, friends, because there's there's another little bit to, to do. And, and I know there's folks... There was actually some comments in the comment section that said... Your splitting videos are my favorite. And you know what, friends? Once in a while, we're going to do a video. We haven't done just a splitting video for a while. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, so today, it's a splitting video. I thought I mentioned in the video that we'd be running a bit of saw, but we didn't end up doing that. That'll be in the, in the next one. Because there's one more session, one more video like this, and that's me topping up the truck there actually could be two more videos in this little series, but we won't do that. We maybe we may, but I, I doubt we will. But anyways, this video is over. I think our last one was about 15 minutes. I like mixing it up. I really took into consideration what you guys talked about in the comments. section. I didn't do that because I wanted to accommodate to the longer ones or the shorter ones or to see what I literally was gathering information yesterday in the video when I asked you guys what's better. Friends, if you go looking through there, it's like 50-50 right down the schnotskis. That's the way I seen it. So friends, you got to think about that. I remember years ago, I would ask questions and it would just, it would wreck me because I'd be like, everybody's not going to want the same thing except for the voiceovers. Now, when I asked you fellers and fellats and children about all the all the, the voiceovers, 99.9% .9 of you was like, do the voiceovers. That's wonderful. That's great information. So that's kind of why I did that, to gather information. Let's enjoy. I'll talk to you guys later. Be kind to one another. That's the main thing. Leave comments in there. Huh? Tell us about your old firewood. Who got you started doing firewood when you were a young man? Was it your dad? Was it your uncle? Did you go with your grandpa? Everybody's got a firewood experience. If you don't, Maybe try still go have one because they're sure fun. I'll take you out on one on a bucking stock. We got to get bucket stock going. 
Friends, I love you all. Thanks so much. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Welcome to the newcomers, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video. Over in freaking outskis.